What's up my lady loves, I'm Poke Cinema, and welcome to another Sun and Moon video. So today guys, it looks like we have a whole bunch of new leaks. There's actually supposed to be a trailer that leaks tomorrow. But everything kind of got uh, leaked out on 4chan. I don't know who was leaking it. I don't know how it was happening. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. The first screen that we're going to look at today is Pyuku Muku. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This name is still just as confusing as the Japanese name. But this is a Pokemon that was leaked yesterday in Koro Koro Magazine. Um, honestly, I, I my opinion on this Pokemon is kind of like... It's underwhelming. I don't understand why you would release this baby form of a Pokemon, especially if it's that underwhelming. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I mean, it's cute nonetheless, but this guy actually did gain a uh, ability. Kind of like I was saying yesterday, I was suggesting that he might get an Iron Fist ability, but he's actually got the ability called Innards Out. At the moment, we don't know what this is. We don't know exactly what it's going to do. Um, but I am going to go ahead and predict, or I'm going to assume that... Uh, it's gonna boost physical type moves or any move that makes the insides of the body come out because yesterday we uh, Figured out that the Pokemon actually attacks by using its guts like it's it gets it out of its body and like punches with it is exactly what it said So maybe physical type moves that cause it to do that uh, Will be powered up. So the next screenshot we have here is actually a brand new Pokemon. It's called Morlol. Morlol? Morlel? I don't know exactly how this one's pronounced either until we actually hear it. We won't know. I mean, you can always speculate. I'm sure there's people in the comments right now that are like, ah, dude, it's Morlel the Green Bay Packers. Well, we don't know. <laughs> we won't know until it actually comes out. But this Pokemon is kind of interesting. I'm not a huge fan of it, honestly. It's so teeny tiny. It just seems like it. it it's it's too small for me. I don't know. But it's a mushroom looking Pokemon here and with the typing Grass Fairy. I really do like the typing Grass Fairy though. Grass Fairy is a pretty, uh, it's an alright type. We already have Grass Fairies I believe. I would like to see Fairy type with some other Pokemon like Poison Fairy. That would be absolutely amazing or some other typing. But this Pokemon seems to be just another Grass Fairy Pokemon or run of the mill Fairy Pokemon. Uh, as far as abilities go, it gets Illuminate and Effect Spore. I'm sure we'll see more as the trailers release tomorrow since these are just leaks. Next up, we have the Alolan form of Marowak. I know that we've already seen this thing before in the Koro Koro scan, but we haven't seen it in gameplay and we haven't seen its abilities. So first off, the thing that jumps out to me is this guy gets the ability Lightning Rod. I, I, I guess he keeps it from... Uh, Marowak like the other form and cursed body cursed body's actually okay I mean it would be so much nicer if this guy got flash fire or I mean anything and any other ability But aside from his abilities being terrible the Pokemon in game actually looks so cool And we actually get a better look at the back of the Pokemon you can't see it too well But it looks to be like a skull on the back of the Pokemon. So that's kind of cool It actually ties in with uh, the new team that was announced, but I don't know, this Pokemon I'm definitely gonna be using for for sure. Like Marowak looks so sick. He looks absolutely amazing, but I am a little disappointed in the abilities. Next up we have Meowth. I know this is old news, it's already been leaked and released, but I, I honestly, I know Meowth gets a lot of hate, but I love the way this guy looks. And we've already seen the Pokemon, yes, but we haven't seen it in gameplay. And I, I like it, personally, I like it. I think, you know, they didn't do too much to Meowth, but what I'm more excited about is to see Persian. Like, I'm excited I'm, how they're going to change Persian and what they're going to do with it. And if they're going to give it new moves and, and whatever. So it just gets uh, pick up and Technician. I don't think that's any different than its ability that it had before. I, I'm kind of noticing that they're not changing the ability and they're honestly not changing too much in the Pokemon. But I'm really hoping they revamp the stats and uh, revamp the move pool. Otherwise, well, I mean, of course, they'll have to do it for Marowak and Ninetales. But as far as Meowth goes, they might not change a thing. But I, I, I'm thinking they will. And so just aside from the Pokemon, we actually get a look at a backdrop here. I don't think we've seen a backdrop like this before. It looks like it's taking place in a town. So maybe we see this Meowth early on. Maybe it's something that we can encounter uh, pretty early on in the game. Or maybe we'll be running around in a city and we'll see the Pokemon in alleyways. I don't know, but uh, I, I just thought that was a cool little note to mention. Next up, we have my favorite Pokemon. My, my personal favorite leak so far. Alolan Raichu. Holy crap, this thing is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It picks up the typing of uh, Psychic, which is amazing. And it gets a brand new ability. Um, as far as looks go, the Pokemon's not changed that much. It's a little puffier. I mean, it's, it's a little cuter. And it actually surfs on its tail, hence the ability name uh, Surge Surfer. So Surge Surfer is actually a new ability to Raichu. 
And uh, what it actually does is it ups his speed with an electric field. As you can see by this screenshot here, it uh, furthers what I've just said. So when an electric field is down, its speed is going to be really boosted. It's going to basically become super, super fast. The ability may be a little bit different. I'm just going off of the screenshots that we've been shown and off of the information that we've been shown. And technically, it's more of an assumption, but that's what I'm guessing uh, its ability is going to be. Team Skull has also got some leaks here. It seems Team Skull has a bone to pick with you. I don't know how I like that saying, but I definitely do like their logo. I think it's really cool. If you can't tell, it's actually like a skull. It's kind of hard to tell, uh, but you can kind of see it. I'll show you. These are the eyes right here, right? And this is the mouth, right? <laughs> that's a terrible drawing, but uh, yeah. So that's like a little skull and it also has, you know, the S uh, and whatever. So I, I kind of like the logo that they have for it going on. And uh, the grunts have also been revealed, and man, they look so good. Honestly, this is probably my favorite or second favorite enemy team. I mean, these guys look amazing. They kind of look like new plasma to me, like a mixture of new plasma and uh, hmm, who else? Maybe like Team Aqua, maybe a mixture between those two, but I really like it. If you can't tell, they're actually doing a skull pose as well. So I'm assuming that's what they do when they fight you. See, the skull is going to be like this. You know, boom, that's the worst skull ever, but that's that's pretty much what it is. It's supposed to be a skull, which is pretty cool. I like it. I like the designs of everybody. Uh, I can't really complain about anything so far. I love everything that's been released. Even this beautiful girl right here, uh, Plumeria. Okay, she looks... She's a baddie. I just gotta say it. She a baddie. Look at those pants. She's looking good. So this is one of the admins for Team Skull. I don't particularly get why she's... Uh, she's so important but there's some interesting text down here that is definitely uh worth noting team skull's big sister i don't know what that means i don't know if team skull is a person or, or or if it's like you know sisters it could be more like a gang than it's actually like an enemy team like i know they are always gangs but this one is like that's like a real gang term you know what i'm saying like this is this seems more uh evil and and gang and more like hoodlums i guess i don't know uh, shout out to Hoodlum Scrafty. And now we have the boss here, Guzma. I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but this guy looks absolutely amazing. I mean, like I said before, they kind of have this whole Hoodlum uh, gangster vibe going on uh, with the baggy clothes, you know, and the dark eyeliner and stuff. It actually looks like a British term for a gangster. I think it's called a Ned. Uh, I was talking about it with someone. Um, I was actually talking about it with a friend in a call. So it's kind of cool. Look, fellow rejects who could uh become captains i don't know maybe he's they're they're rejects of some sort maybe that's why they feel like uh they have to act the way they do and maybe they're just hoodlums and rejects and stuff like that and lastly we have wishy-washy solo form and school form so we've got some leaks with these guys basically saying that he doesn't evolve wishy-washy stays the same but actually after it reaches a certain level it just turns into uh wishy-washy school form so that's kind of weird it just it literally doesn't evolve it just turns into that pokemon uh, i'm not going to drag out this video any longer than it is though so thank you guys so much for watching this episode or this video if you did enjoy these leaks if you do enjoy these pokemon if you think this is awesome and cool in any way be sure to hit that like button guys because i am excited too man and it's a great way to show your support so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one